it's funny, isn't it, how time moves on, but yet when you watch something, hear a piece of music, or indeed, you know, go back to a certain place, the memories just literally flood open. And that's really what pivotal moments in life can do, can't they? It can be a television series. Who remembers where they were when they first saw The Man from Atlantis with Patrick Duffy? Remember that TV show? Or perhaps it was the very first time you sat down to watch Johnny Carson late night and you felt very grown up being allowed to sit up that late, as we did over here in the United Kingdom with Parkinson. So it's strange to think that they're going to try and reboot one of the biggest shows of the last decade. Can you imagine 30 years ago since this show actually came? I mean, wow, it just kind of makes you feel ancient, doesn't it? As ever though, let me explain. Morning, nice to see you. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're in the very heart of London, Lambeth Palace. It always looks nice at this time of year, doesn't it? That moss needs tending at the side though, doesn't it? What's the Archbishop doing? He needs to get out with a trowel, get on with it, you know, show willing. As I often say, when you think about what's gone through these doors in terms of history, pretty amazing. Also amazing though is our memories. They fade, don't they, with time. And then you see a picture of something and it can be, I don't know if you're like me, but you know when you go into a charity shop and you see a picture bag of a single or a 12 inch cover sleeve and you think oh, I remember buying that and you remember exactly where you were when you bought it because you were so proud that you had the money to buy it yeah yeah you see <laughs> we're all the same in the end aren't we that's the problem now one of the biggest shows of course in the 90s was none other than this Melrose Place put together of course by the super production team of Aaron Spelling, a spin-off of Beverly Hills 90210. Now, what, if you remember, Melrose Place, it was the sort of place I fancied living, you see. Not only was the gorgeous Heather Locklear, the landlord or landlady, whatever you want to call her, but it was just brilliantly acted. Over the top, ridiculous storylines, people getting knocked off, uh, you know, all sorts of stuff going on. Remember the Batty Marcia Cross who worked in the hospital? Maybe that was built on somebody today. You just don't know, do you? But according to a source at CBS, they're going to reboot the idea and try and make it around and sell it to either a streaming giant or indeed a major television network. Now, I know I often mention this and I'd love to know what you think, but can you really bring something back like that? You see, I remember watching Melrose Place and not being a possessor of a mobile phone, but everybody seemed to have one in that particular show. And I thought this would have been the ultimate guide to cool, being able to sit there, take a call, literally in the middle of a few as Heather Lockley had did. Oh yes, this was a soap after all. And she said, I'm sorry, this is business. <laughs> you just love those madcap storylines, don't you? But apparently Heather and two of the other stars of the show are down to reprise their roles. Apparently they're going to be looking back a little bit and then the storyline kicks in. But as I say, with shows like this, which were spectacularly created by Darren Starr, who of course went on to come up with many other shows, including Sex in the City, can you really reprise a golden moment of television? Or would it better really to just watch all the old episodes and perhaps re-screen them for those that have never seen them before? Truly, I'd love to know what you think. And were you a fan of Melrose Place? Or were you more Dallas and Dynasty, Knott's Landing, Falcon Crest? It's always good to share, isn't it? Our soapy moments. <laughs> we had so many over here and so many good and so many bad. And for many people around the world, I know you had all your own soaps. And for those in Australia, my big favorites were Sons and Daughters with Patricia, remember her, and A Country Practice. I thought that was really good. But then again, I was young and at school. Melrose Place, yes or no? Please like and share, and as ever, be respectful in the comments. Neil Sean, Lambeth Palace, London.